When the dust of the centuries settles, a profound truth emerges. It's not the dogmas or ideologies, nor the reasons for conflict that endure, but something more eternal the arts. These are the emblems of our ceaseless quest for meaning, an attempt to grasp a reality beyond mere facts, something that runs deeper than doctrine. They bear witness to our grappling with the essence of the world its nature, its possibilities as well as the boundless expanse of human potential. These artistic revelations unveil the very essence of our identity who we are, where we've been, and the paths we're yet to tread. It was Rebecca West who understood this eternal truth. She beautifully remarked that, art is not a plaything, but a necessity. Its form, she noted, is not mere decoration, but a vessel that holds life's essence. Bello echoed this sentiment. In his Nobel Prize acceptance speech, he spoke of art as the sole force that can pierce through the illusory constructs that life presents. A more genuine reality, he explained, whispers to us constantly, sending hints that only art can interpret and convey. Toni Morrison, too, understood this profound connection. She eloquently declared that art is the reminder that we truly belong, that our existence has meaning. Meet Catherine Ann Porter, a writer and activist who walked a unique path. Born on May 15, 1890, and departing on September 18, 1980, she bore witness to an era marked by two world wars and unprecedented upheavals. In the midst of these turbulent times, Porter's voice emerged, shaped by the crucible of experience. With a pen as her sword, she crafted art that resonated deeply with the human spirit. Through poems that painted emotions in hues of ink, essays that unraveled complexities, short stories that captured life's essence, and novels that carried the weight of generations, she left an indelible mark. In her words, she wove threads of meaning, making existence itself richer and more livable for those who followed in her footsteps. As readers immersed themselves in her literary tapestry, they were transported across time and space, embracing the wisdom she distilled from a life fully lived. Porter's legacy continues to flourish, a beacon of resilience and insight that traverses generations. In the pages of the 1940 Modern Library edition of Flowering Judas, a collection of stories that bloomed between the two world wars, Catherine Ann Porter offers a profound contemplation on the enduring power of art amidst the tumult of global conflict. In the face of overwhelming adversity, the artist's voice might appear no more substantial than a cricket's song in the grass. Yet, Porter reminds us that the arts possess a timeless vitality, sustained by faith, unyielding amidst trials. Their essence, their forms, their meanings they persist, undeterred by interruptions, neglect, or the passage of time. Through upheavals, changes in governance, and shifts in societal beliefs, the arts stand resolute. They transcend mere mortal constructs, embodying the essence of human faith and the very fabric of reality. When the dust settles and ruins are cleared away, it is the arts that remain, like beacons guiding us through the aftermath. A quarter of a century later, in a Paris Review interview, the words of a remarkable mind resurface, shedding light on the artist's profound role within the fabric of civilization. As ink met paper, Catherine Ann Porter rekindled the question of the artist's purpose. She declared, with unwavering conviction, that nothing in this existence is devoid of purpose or devoid of meaning, as long as the artist confronts it head on. It is the artist's duty, she contended, to stand face to face with the enigma of existence, to embrace it without evasion. This, she emphasized, is not merely an option but a responsibility. The artist's task, she argued, is to sift through the bewildering fragments of reality, weaving them together into a coherent tapestry of shape and meaning. In the chaos of human existence, the artist finds purpose, the very essence of their being. It's through this act of creation that the artist offers clarity, infusing order into a world often shrouded in uncertainty. Through artistic expression, we embark on a journey of understanding, piecing together the fragments of experience to unveil profound truths. Half a century later, the echoes of wisdom resonate anew. In the annals of time, Ursula K. Le Guin emerged as a torchbearer, echoing the sentiment we explored earlier. Ursula's voice, powerful and eloquent, reverberated as she embarked on a remarkable meditation about the essence and impact of art. She unveiled a profound insight, art's role as a vessel that bestows language upon the human experience. Through the tapestry of words, Ursula conveyed that art, in its myriad forms, serves as a bridge that connects us with the very core of our existence. With a deep understanding, she emphasized that art is more than creation, it's a conduit for self-discovery. It's a tool, she proclaimed, that empowers us to grasp the nuances of our identity and the desires that propel us forward. Ursula's perspective unfurls a powerful revelation. 
Art is the mirror that reflects our essence, allowing us to confront our true selves. In her words, we find a testament to the transformative force that art wields, nurturing our quest for self-knowledge and purpose. Ursula K. Le Guin's legacy stands as a reminder that within art's embrace, we find not only beauty but also the profound words to understand our journey. Stay curious, history lovers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.